For an international footballer, the worst ignominy would be to betray his own country. To go and play under other skies. There are many famous footballers who have gone into exile to see if the grass is greener there. From Lionel Messi to Erling Haaland without forgetting Zinedine Zidane, here are the 12 players who betrayed their country of origin. It would not escape even a blind person that almost all the players of the French team are of African descent, especially the best of them. Most of these footballers could have chosen to play for their respective countries, starting with the star of the moment, the inimitable Kylian Mbappé. Indeed, should we remind you that the parents of the young Kylian are not French in origin. His father, Wilfred, was born in Cameroon and Faisal Amari, his mother, is of Algerian origin. The young prodigy of the round ball could thus play as well for the Cameroonian national selection as for the Algerian one. However, it is well and truly in Le Bleu that he ended up to the delight of French fans of course. But if Donatello does not wear the Cameroon jersey today, the rumors say that it is not really because of him, quite the contrary. Indeed, in any case, according to the rumor, in 2018 when young Killian began to reveal his immense talent, his father Wilfred decided to play his son for the national selection of Cameroon. Except that everything did not go as planned, since Wilfred was asked to pay a bribe so that Killian could be selected. The good man did not have the means to pay this amount. He had to resign himself to register his son to be selected in France, since there at least he did not have to give money to anyone. The rest you know it of course, because since then Kylian Mbappe has become a real phenomenon of society and one of the best footballers in the world. It's hard to go unnoticed when your name is Erling Haaland and you measure 1.94 meters for a weight of 90 kilograms. This blonde giant with a Viking look and a very Scandinavian physiognomy was not born in Norway, despite the fact that he has the nationality and that he plays under its jersey. Haaland was born in Leeds, a city located in West Yorkshire, in the north of England. His father, Alfie Haaland, was playing for Leeds United at the time and the family obviously lived in the same city. Haaland stayed in England with his family until he was three years old, before returning to Brine, Norway, where he grew up. The young man was thus eligible by his birth to play for the national team of England, except that he had no desire of it. Feeling Scandinavian to the end of his nails, Haaland only wanted to play for Norway, the country of origin of both his parents. We will remember this last World Cup if only because for the first time in history an African team made it to the semi-finals. By achieving this feat, Morocco has given joy and hope to a whole continent, but behind it stand players who have sometimes made heavy sacrifices. For example, Ashraf Hakimi, who had to face the virulent criticism of the Spanish who reproach him for having chosen to play for Morocco, to the detriment of Spain. Akrav Hakimi was born in Madrid and grew up in Getafe, although both his parents were born in Morocco. No one can forget that magnificent final against Brazil in 1998, nor the score of three goals to zero, two of which were scored by the head of Zidane. The same one that will knock out Matarazzi a few years later. But that's another story. Zidane went down in history that night, becoming a true living legend of French soccer. However, as you can easily guess, through the consonants of his name and surname, Zinedine Zidane has Algerian roots. Kibail more precisely, his two parents being born and raised in Algeria. Sisu has a dual French-Algerian nationality and could have played for the Algerian national team, the famous Fenex du Desert. Moreover, the young Sedan at the time had well applied in Algeria, wanting to wear the shirt of the country of his parents, but you can see that the little Sisu had been rejected because of slowness. Yes, that's the best one. Sedan was considered too slow and didn't really have the potential to become a good footballer. The author of this mistake must certainly bite his fingers today, because thanks to him, Algeria has lost a living legend.
Before being crushed by the Moroccan steamroller at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, Spain was one of the favorite selections of this edition. With its flock of superstars of the round ball. Among them, Thiago Alcantara was very expected by the fans of La Roja, except that they were quickly cooled when they discovered that the coach had not selected him to participate in the competition. The Liverpool FC star midfielder was absent from the tournament, which caused indignation among his fans, who strongly criticized the decision of the Spanish coach. The latter would have said that Thiago was not at the same level as before and that it was necessary to give priority to young promising talents such as Carlos Soler or Marcus Lorente. It was a bad decision when we see the current state of the Spanish team, completely humiliated and weakened as never before in its history. When we know that the majority of the French team is composed of players of foreign origin, we can only remain silent in front of the case of Aymeric Laporte. Born in Agen, France, to French parents, Aymeric has chosen to obtain Spanish nationality in 2021 and wear the red jersey of La Roja. This brilliant defender, who is currently playing for Manchester City, even played in the Euro 2020 and the World Cup 2022 under the Spanish colors, at the expense of his native country. We could ask ourselves by what absurd combination of circumstances France has lost this excellent footballer, right? Well, the only one responsible for this strategic error is the coach of Le Bleu. Didier Deschamps, who never gave the young footballer a chance. Tired and disgusted to see himself rejected each time, Omeric Laporte finally decided to become a Spanish citizen and to play for the national team of this country, which at least gave him a chance. The case of Kalidou Koulibaly is curious to say the least, since this footballer has the distinction of having played for the national teams of two sovereign countries. Considered by many as one of the best defenders on the planet, Kalidou, who currently plays for Chelsea, was indeed selected for the Blues, as well as for the Lions of Taranga. The young footballer played with the French U20 team in 2011, but he finally chose the homeland of his parents, Senegal, where he joined the national team in 2015. Khalidou, who will become the captain of the team, will even win the Africa Cup of Nations 2021 in Cameroon with his Senegalese comrades. Karim Benzema's career in the French national team has certainly not been a long and quiet one, although he still has unrivaled titles and records. The one who is considered the fifth best scorer in the history of the French team has indeed been very criticized for some time. Because of some personal setbacks with the justice, he was even ousted from Le Bleu team. But what has always been the real problem is his unfailing love for Algeria, the country of both his parents. Of Kabyle origin, just like his mentor and friend Sinadine Sidan, Karim Benzema has never hidden his attachment to the homeland of his ancestors, so much so that he even refused to sing the Marseillaise during the games of the French team. Armel Belakotchap is a 23-year-old German footballer who currently plays as a central defender for Southampton FC. Born in Paris to a former professional footballer from Cameroon, Armel grew up in Germany where he spent most of his professional career. And without too many surprises, it is the white jersey of the Mannschaft that Armel will choose to wed with a sweat. A choice that some will say strategic, since the young footballer could very well have chosen Cameroon. Or even France, since by his birth he was entirely entitled to it. So Armel chose his host country, because let's say it clearly, Germany is not really known for its stinginess towards its national players, isn't it? Most professional footballers dream of a golden retirement in Qatar, where they can get rich and live happily ever after. But it must be said that some players do not really have the patience to wait for their retirement. Like the inenerable Karim Boudiaf. This footballer born in France and of Algerian origin was naturalized Qatari and wears since the jersey of the national selection of Qatar. Boudiaf even participated in the World Cup organized by his adopted country under the Qatari colors of course. Born in the Paris region to a Portuguese father and a French mother, Rafael Guerrero has a dual French-Portuguese nationality. 
this young footballer nevertheless grew up in France and even started his sporting career in France, in Cayenne, then in Lorient, where he played as a left back or left midfielder. After proving himself on the field and revealing his enormous footballing talent, Rafael Guerrero was obviously asked to join the French national team but also the Portuguese. The young player received the invitations of the two respective federations almost simultaneously. So he had to make a choice. But it was not really a dilemma for the young man, who opted almost without batting an eyelid for Portugal, the homeland of his dear father whom he made immensely proud of him. The young Rafael betrayed his country of origin, so to speak, out of love for his father and to please him, which you will agree is not an action that could be qualified as blameworthy, is it not? And finally, honor to the living legend, you have of course guessed who it is. The seven-time golden ball and worthy successor of the great Diego Maradona, the Argentine Lionel Messi. Or the Pulga, if you prefer well. Because it may be a scoop for you, but you must know that Messi almost played for Spain. If it were not for his incredible sense of patriotism and his unmeasurable love of his country of origin. In fact, when the Pulga was transferred to Barca, the club's leaders lobbied for the Royal Spanish Football Federation to make a place in the national team. But this was not knowing the little Argentine who only dreamed of joining the Albi Celeste and wear the colors of his native country. Now tell us in the comments what you think of famous footballers who have gone into exile for glory, money or love betraying the countries of origin.